Good morning and welcome back y'all. I hope you had a good one. So we've already taken you on four days in a row of our adventures living full-time in an RV. Our first video we showed you our travel here to St. Augustine, Florida and then we had back-to-back -back big days in St. Augustine. And then there was yesterday where we had a down day, sort of. We had a small adventure in the morning and then we ended up back at the RV for the afternoon doing some chores. So today is going to be video number five and we're heading right back to St. Augustine, Florida and we have a big day planned. Now, if you guys like these type of videos where we show you our daily lives and what it's like to live in an RV full time, let us know in the comments down below. And if this is not your thing, I have some good news for you. There's only a few more left and we'll go back to filming and releasing videos the way we've always done it. So come along with us as we head back to St. Augustine. Are you ready for another big day? I think so. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a big one. It is. So the last ones that had a big day we went to st augustine we were able to take the trolley and walk around right today we're having a big day of activities you can't walk to it's the stuff out just outside the, the, the city old town area yeah oh okay so we got four activities we're trying to do uh -huh. and it's our last big day because tomorrow's already planned tomorrow right. should be a pretty relaxing day right and then it's back to uh rv life we got to get the camper ready to go and then time to move on time to move on it's been fun here I will say, if y'all been watching all these videos, we picked the worst week ever to do seven days in a row because it's going to look like we do nothing but hectic adventures. Yeah, it's definitely not like this all the time. It just so happens St. Augustine has way more than we expected and we only had a certain amount of time to do it in, so we, we jam-packed every day. Yeah. But normally, you guys might have got bored because... They, they probably would have been watching campfires, <laughs> yeah. a bunch of chores, some laundry, washing dishes, all the mundane stuff that comes with everyday living. Normally, if we wouldn't have done everyday videoing, it would have ended up being maybe two or three videos of this entire week. And it, it would have been condensed. It would have been had, you know, every little thing would have got a little segment, but it would have been a very condensed version of each place. Right. You wouldn't have had four activities in one no, no, video. No, no, no. It would have been four activities in one video, but not four activities in a day. Oh, in the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. So I probably would have made like two or three days into one video, and I would have just given you the cliff notes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, in a way it's cool, in a yeah. way it's not, because. You would have missed out on a lot of things. Well, if they want to see the not so hectic weeks, they can let us know in the comments. Exactly. And we, can, we can definitely film while we're at the RV more and what we do while we're there. Well, they'll get a little bit of that yeah. on uh, the day before we leave when we show you what, what we do the day before. Yeah. So. I mean, we've shown you before, but this is going to be a little different. We're going to show you more of what Alicia does and the things I didn't show you on the outside. Right. But it's time for adventures. Yep. Today we got adventures. Welcome to our first stop of the day. Yeah. It's the St. Augustine Lighthouse Museum. Now, unfortunately, the lighthouse is closed because they're working on it. Yeah. But there's a lot to do here. I had to get the map out because I can't remember it all. Yeah. But, so we have something for the little kids called the Little Keeper Club. Uh-huh. We have a trail, which we're not going to do because our day is too big to start doing some walking first thing. Right. <laughs> we still get to explore the outside of the lighthouse. Okay. We get to go in the keeper's office. Yep. Check out the keeper's house. Uh-huh. And then over here, the Maritime Heritage Park. You get to see how boats were built. Oh, you get wow. to see uh, a World War II air garage. I don't know what that is yet. Ten pickle. I don't it know. It must be a restaurant. They have the World War II U.S. Coast Guard quarters, and then right here is they have uh, shipwrecks. Oh, okay. So anyway, and there's supposed to be a playground for kids. Oh, wow. So there's actually way more here than just a lighthouse. Yeah, we thought it was just the lighthouse. So when she said it's closed, we decided, should we go? And then we looked at the map, and we're like, we should definitely go. I know, the people behind us left when she said, you can't go in the lighthouse <laughs> today because it's under restoration. I'm a little bummed. I yeah, wanted oh, it's to, okay. I wanted to see if I could fit in this one. Well. So the last lighthouse, <laughs> you didn't get to go because of that. <laughs> There's a little hole you have to crawl up, I guess, in this the ladder. This one you may have been able to go, yeah. but the kids wouldn't have. So oh. even Ashton couldn't go in this oh, one. Oh, okay, because they're too short. Yeah. It feels way taller than yeah. the last one, right? The last one I thought was big. I bet this one's double that size. You have to take stairs up that? Yeah, and they go they go like this. <laughs> even In if, a circle. Even if I could have fit, I probably wouldn't have made it up that since I have no breath. <laughs> oh, man, this is uh, awesome. Yeah, this is really cool. Too bad we can't go up there. 
I'm so confused by what we're getting into just I by the know. name of the sign. <laughs> Shrimpin' ain't easy. I don't even know what that means. That sounds like a restaurant. Can we get some of this uh, beautiful wallpaper in the RV? Yeah. I don't even know where you would get that right now. <laughs> it's a little dated, but it's pretty in this setting. Um, dated. <laughs> I believe I just this saw. This is old. This is from 1586. Oh. Well, it's I'm actually sure probably very modern compared to when it was first built. <laughs> True. <laughs> Do you hear your child? Yeah. Where are you taking us? Where are, you, where are we going? We're going to find treasures. Find treasures. Here. What are y'all doing over here? We're having a tea party. <laughs> she poured me a good glass of tea. Those look old. Or a cup of tea, yeah. <laughs> So that was pretty cool. We got to see the lighthouse keeper's house. We got to see some shipwreck um, artifacts. And up here was all about the invention of the shrimping business shrimping here in Florida. Business, yeah. It's apparently it was a big deal and it started here in St. Augustine. They're the first at everything. <laughs> so remember how I said this one looks bigger? Yeah. It actually is. Yeah. So the one we just did in St. George was yeah. only 90 feet tall. This one is 220 something feet tall. Oh my gosh. So it's more than double the size. Wow. So it would have been a, a pretty good it little trip. It would have been a hike up. I think they said 165 steps. Oh my goodness. The other one was only like 80 some steps. Oh wow. So it's more than double. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I was surprised to see that it said it needs a major restoration every five to six years. That yeah, seems and I'm crazy not even sure to me. This is actually working anymore. I, know, I think it's just so a history thing. I don't understand Hi. that, but well, maybe we'll find an employee and I ask. Bet, I bet it's because it's next to the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Salt does wonderful things to structures. <laughs> and we got to maintain it okay. uh, we're uh, it's still in operation this one is still yeah. in operation oh. you know they don't really use it much anymore with the gps stuff all the time yeah they, they have computers yeah. to tell them where they are that stuff's Just wiped in out case you need it, it is and, and and it's a major attraction wow. it's the tallest lighthouse in the country so how long does it take to uh, do this right now it'll take them about three weeks approximately three weeks? two weeks on the inside and they hope to do the outside uh in a week will they repaint oh, it Huh? Will they repaint it and everything? everything yeah. So it'll look pretty new then. Wow. Yes, it'll look brand new. Well, First looks... time since 1980 on the inside that it's been completely restored. Oh, really? And we've done the outside at least two times in the 10 years I've been here. Yeah. Um, but the inside, this will be the first time. Oh my goodness, well it looks beautiful it. right now. It is. So I can't imagine when y'all well, are done. Well, when we get done, the it'll be more black looking. There won't yeah. be no mold on it. Oh, and then okay. they'll brighten up the paint. Is that bad? You looking out? Where are the pirates at? You see them? Nope. You gotta do like this. <laughs> so, what did you think about the lighthouse? I thought it was awesome. I'm kind of glad it was more than just the lighthouse. Even though, after talking to the guy who works here, we learned lots of interesting things, but it was nice to see all the other stuff too. Yeah, a lot more here than just the lighthouse. Yeah. And it only takes you about 45 minutes to see it all, and it's super cheap. Yeah, and like he said, this is actually an operational one. So if all your electronics fail, 
you still have the good old lighthouse to get you by. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. What? The guys nowadays that know how to move a ship with electronics yeah. don't know how to read a lighthouse probably. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> They've never had to not <laughs> right. have a GPS said, going. I didn't realize this. Each lighthouse is painted differently. So you have to have it different. I think you said there's like 1100 or something yeah. here. Um, and then they all have different light patterns so that you know which one that you're looking at if you're out at sea and need to use them. So I'm glad I'm not driving the boat. So where are we heading next? Now we're headed to the alligator farm. We got a little taste of alligators at our last place. Wasn't it our last yep. place? Yeah, where we got to touch snakes and stuff. So this place has a few reptiles, but I think they might get to hold an alligator. We'll see. Welcome to the St. Augustine alligator farm. Ashlyn, look at that big old alligator. Yeah. What's he doing in that truck? I don't know. I think he's trying to drive it. <laughs> Ashlyn, what are these? Baby alligators. Oh, my God, in there. Oh, yeah? Oh, Looks like he's coming out. Do you see him coming out of the water? <laughs> Get her. Oh, those are your size. Do you want to get one for Barbie? No. <laughs> you can put it in a piece of glass. It's not too big. Another alligator by the turtle. Look at that one over there with just his head out. Oh He's looking at you? Oh, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at that? these baby ones. Look at the baby albinos. Oh, look at them. Cute. They look like statues. They don't look real. Especially with their eyes closed. Look at this guy right here. He's, he was like, I'm gonna leave my tail in the water. This, this turtle's picking on this alligator. He might want to rethink that. <laughs> well, how, how, how do you not? He, came, these are like 12 feet big. I came here thinking there was one in the water. There's one right there, one like, right there, one right there. Yeah. There's one right there. There's two over here watching you. Hey, just so you know, Why are they so for every one you see, there's like four looking at you. <laughs> Why are they so still? Because they're trying to control their temperature. Oh if they God. move, they get hot. Look at that one. Look at him. He's looking at you. Look at the one under the bridge. I didn't even see that one. Oh my gosh, look under the bridge. I, can... I would really hate to run into one of these in the woods. I don't feel like you're going to win. <laughs> hey, did you just see that guy go flying through the air? Ziplining. Are, are you gonna zip line over no, the alligator? No. But they zip line over the entire park. Oh my gosh. Nope. Don't sign me up for that adventure. Yeah, well, it, 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 it teaches you how to fall good. I've never ziplined, <laughs> but I'm not gonna start by ziplining over alligators. It just yeah. doesn't sound like a good combination. There's so many people doing it. I'm gonna try to catch them next time they come through. Okay. <laughs> Do you know alligators smelled like this? I know. It's weird because sometimes you don't smell it and then it's like really, really strong. It's a, it's a definitely <laughs> it's a- pungent. It's, you know they're there. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, Kayla? Is that a big old turtle? Big turtle. He's a real big turtle. There's lemurs behind us. She said they were cute. 
They were cute. Are those cute? Ashlyn, you see his mouth? That looks like a dinosaur mouth, don't it? Oh, here's a picture of it. That's crazy. He's got a lot of uh, teeth. Ashlyn, look, look at that. You see him? He sees you. Oh, no, that didn't happen. <laughs> look at that boy. Look at his mouth. Arr. See the sign? What yeah. we just walked through is every species of a crocodile in the entire world is here. Oh my gosh. That's why it seems like it goes, there's, there's booths everywhere. And yeah. I didn't understand why. They literally have who knows how many, but every species of crocodile Almost is here. Almost everyone, or alligator too, huh? We just crocodile have, right here. It's oh, called, this croc is just crocodile. It's crocodile world. The crocodiles all look a little different, unlike the alligators, because they all have different like snouts uh -huh. and teeth. This one, wasn't that the one we saw that yeah. was all teethy? That one was crazy. Oh, yeah, oh. kind of crazy looking. There's a lot here. There is. What'd you think of the alligator place? I thought it was pretty interesting. They had way more alligators than I thought we were gonna see. I know, I was reading about it. It's actually an accredited zoo. Oh, really? Yeah, it's actually a big a big place. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, it's side of the road alligator farm thing. Yeah. I know, it's, it's a real deal. The only thing I didn't like, it was a little bit pricey. Yeah, it was, for what you get, it's very pricey. Yeah. Also, we kind of spent through it because of a situation going on yeah with our travel partners we've got some sleepy cranky travel partners that, that's <laughs> how you know you've been adventuring too hard because today they uh they were done by noon yeah kayla she she didn't even care about the alligator farm she was ready to go um ashlyn was still a little bit interested but we could tell toward the end that she was she was also done. I mean, honestly, we it felt like we went through it quick, but at the same time, I felt like we got we saw everything we needed everything. out of it. Yeah, we saw everything. The only thing we didn't get to do is I told them they might get to hold an alligator, but those are only at specific times, and we weren't there at any of the times no. that they were going to be doing it. So we didn't want to hang around just for that. So that's the only thing we really missed. So anyway, we had planned to go find lunch, and maybe that would cheer them up. Yeah. But they fell asleep before we left the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're heading down the road to our third stop for the day. Yep. And depending on what happens when we get there, either we're all going or I'm taking you by myself. What'd you say? It's like a 20 minute drive? It's a 20 minute drive and yeah. it's, it's, it's one thing that we have to do today because and I'll tell you more about why we do it today when we get there. So we're at our destination, Yep. which is Fort Matanzas. It's part of the national park system. Yep. And look at our travelers. Still snoozing. So it looks like I'm gonna do this on my own. Now the reason we have to do it on our own is because this right here, our America the Beautiful Pass, yes. expires today. Today is the last day it's valid. Right, so we wanted to get this one in before. Plus we had this national park kit. We wanna do as many as we can. Yes. So we bought this a year ago and we did, this will make number 56 national park we've seen. National Park, National Monument, anything, anything national related that's in the park system. Yeah. So oh, anyway. Wow, we've done a lot. This cost $80. Yep. And it pays for itself by the third visit. Wow. And the reason we're doing it today is because when it expires, we're not going to renew it. Yeah, we're not going to, well, we're not going to renew it right away. Exactly. Because we're getting ready to head home and have a baby. Yep. And we're going to be sidelined for a few months. Yep. And you can buy this at any national park. Yeah. And so. it's good for a year from the day you buy it. So there's no point in getting it now until we start our national park kick again. Yep. But I will say, I didn't realize how many we had done. It's, it's 56. You this makes 56. It up. Oh my gosh. So we, I'm gonna have to go in and get my a... stamp and the patches on my own. Yeah. I'm sorry we don't get to go with you. It's okay. If you've seen one fort, what do you say? You've seen them all. <laughs> I still Not think necessarily, it's cool. because the last fort was really cool compared to some we've yeah, seen. Yeah, y'all just saw a fort like two days ago. Yeah, that was probably our coolest one we've that seen. That was actually the one that's in St. Augustine, and yep. they built this one to protect St. Augustine Fort. So yes. like they built that one and then they realized they could build one out here. They needed one out and, here to and protect shoot the it. bad guys before they even got there. <laughs> <laughs> pew pew the bad guys. Pew pew the bad guys. <laughs> Here's Fort Matanzas. Here is the fort we went to, the Castillo de San Marcos in San Augustine, and it's 14 miles. This one was built to protect this waterway into San Augustine. All right, so this national park is a little bit different. The visitor center is up there, and you actually have to take a ferry to the fort that's right over there. 
it comes every 30 minutes so i'm gonna see if i can make it i don't know how alicia and the girls are doing but we'll check on them before i take the ride over there because once you go over there you can't come back for at least 30 minutes as well so we're looking at like about an hour to do this trip so not sure we're gonna make it over there but this is pretty cool there's also tons you can't i don't know if you can see them there's people lined up everywhere with their boats and everybody's hanging out on the beaches on both sides of this little channel this entire beach right here all down there and over here is lined with boats and people just hanging out on the beach it's pretty awesome and it that side over also over there is the same way there's a lot of people enjoying the beach today okay so i just checked the boat schedule we just missed the 1 30 the next boat is not till 2 30 so i have to wait about an hour and it doesn't come back until 3 30 so i would have to wait an hour here and then i would be stuck over there for at least an hour and we don't have two more hours to wait so off to our next adventure which is hopefully lunch hopefully alicia found something good to eat what are y'all doing just having a little drink break oh yeah yeah the girls were thirsty so we got them some capri suns why are you back so soon well the boat schedule even though it says every half hour is not true oh we just missed this one at 1 30. Yeah. the next one's not till 2 30 and then you're stuck over there until 3 30. oh so it'd be almost two hours from now before i got back yeah that's not gonna work and <laughs> i could see it yeah it looks cool yeah but it's very small oh okay there's only like one little section of it left oh but the whole entire beach is full of people with boats so it's a big boat that you get to ride over there or? yeah it's a big ferry hmm but there's like hundreds oh, of yeah. boats backed up to the beach out there really yeah they're all had their flags out they're all enjoying the beach oh my goodness but it's like the the inlet so it's not rough yeah well i was just reading about the beaches in the area and there's one that it backs up to this um fort it, it's called no, north it's, beach it's i believe full. really anyway hold this okay look at this so i chose these okay so we got these oh those are cute and we got stamp we got number 56 stamp and we're not renewing That's till right. we know what our next schedule is anyway i'm hoping that you figure somewhere else that we can go eat yeah we're gonna have to so i'm starting to get hungry and we need to eat before our next adventure i did read that north beach is, uh has restaurants all along it so well, we should head we there might check that find out. some food and we might as well tell them we're going to the beach <laughs> we're going to the beach that's why we wanted the girls to sleep because we wanted them to have fun are you excited about beach, beach day because yeah. i hate to say it when we move here we're no longer in florida this is our last beach trip in florida ashlyn kayla what? where are we headed we're gonna go to the beach what you got on your head what's on your head watch out kayla's it's a car floaties. <laughs> kayla's floaties oh let me see yours kayla let me see are we ready for this long walk? Uh, it's, uh, it's actually not as long as it could be. <laughs> the getting there isn't the problem. It's going to be the getting back. There's when no we're parking. So tired. Because it's, it's a Saturday and we're trying to go to the beach in St. Augustine. <laughs> yep. But this hotel, we're right across the street. I mean, I don't know why more people aren't doing it. Come on. 10 now. bucks and you can park right across the street from the beach. Yeah, for all day. And then we ate right here at this restaurant, Salt Life. So we grabbed some lunch there, went back to the truck, got our beach stuff. I'm and now we're on our way. I'm pretty sure I should have just done two tacos, not three. <laughs> and maybe skip the appetizer. Exactly. <laughs> the things you learn. We have to walk all the way over there. We gotta go way over there. And just know that if it feels long now, wait till these children are tired and we're all tired. We're, it's a, it may be a little sunburn. We're gonna send you back to the truck have, to come pick us up. And we have to walk all the way style. back. No, you, I think you'll be walking back. <laughs> I'll hold all this stuff right up well, there. Well, for sure by the time we leave, this will be, this parking lot has to be getting emptier. Oh yeah, it's so crowded right now. We're almost to the building to where we can change and then almost be to the beach. I'm already breathing hard. <laughs> not a good idea it's gonna be fine sometimes i wish we had a smart car so we could get these cute parking spots up here in the front well that is that is a good word for it <laughs> the parking spots in florida are cute <laughs> cute and small fashion go get the birds go get the birds what are you gonna do if y'all catch them huh what are you gonna do if you actually catch them you're gonna say hi? Hi! <laughs> Care to tell me what 
what court you're standing by? Oh, this is the Boca Court. Boca Ball. Yeah, Boca Ball, right? Have you ever heard of it? This is super sweet Italian lawn game. It's I think it's called lawn bowling. It's called <laughs> lawn bowling. Boca ball. You can't see that Boca. <laughs> Tell them what we're referring to. Well, I did a video one time <laughs> and I said Boca ball, and I got told at least 150 times it's bocce ball. <laughs> In our defense, it was spelled B O C C A on yeah. our brochure, so. We had never heard Apparently of it. Apparently in Montana they have an A to make it fancier. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so it's on our most popular video if you care to go watch. And it's bocce ball, yeah. not boca ball. <laughs> what was that face for? Why does it still feel cold? It's I feel actually... like the water should be warm right Wait, now. Get, give it a second. I thought it was cold the first time I touched it. Give it, like, give it like two more two, two more waves in it and you'll be like, that's actually not that cold. Okay. People aren't that deep though. It's kind of rough. I don't think it's rough. I think it's just the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah. It's not rough like the last place we were at. That's for sure. Here comes one. Here it comes. Here it comes. Maybe. Maybe. I sold it. I sold it and it didn't deliver. <laughs> Ashlyn, is the water getting your fort? You gotta build those walls, those pirates will come get your money. There's a pirate theme going on this week. There is. Tomorrow, you'll know why. <laughs> Kayla fell asleep. Oh. I think Kayla. Kayla might be a pirate. Kayla's the enemy in this fort building. She likes to take it <laughs> We made it back from the beach and we had a really big day today. We did. A little bit too big. Yeah. The girls never even missed the fort. And all of a sudden when we got to the beach, they had a burst of energy, but they're already fading. Right, they're fading fast, which is unfortunate because there's events going on here at the RV park tonight. Yeah, so tonight see right there? over there, they're having live music. So we're gonna start a fire and hang out and listen to the live music. Yeah, so we'll see if the girls make it or not, but my my vote is they're probably gonna make it for like 30 minutes and then they're done. So anyway, this is our last big day. Yep. Tomorrow's gonna be much more relaxed. Right. Probably just as much content, yep. but way less effort. And we get a later start. Yeah, so the girls can sleep in a little bit and it'll it'll be much better We don't better have to start tomorrow until about three o'clock in the afternoon because yeah. we have something planned for the sunset. Yep. So anyway, see you tomorrow morning.